Hello, this is Ulvind and this is another day. And now we are back to this drawing. Latter areas with the rudder and with the center board. And this I did 15th of June, 1986. And I built this boat. It was the first one I built in composite with the window cell. And it was uh, 4.8 meter long, 1.63 beam. And it worked very well. But in the beginning I had two moss, but it was kind of in the way, you know, we got crowded. So I took it away and worked very well with the little sail area. And then I did some test sail, 1988. And then 1989, I sailed from France to Ireland to Newfoundland and in the USA. And I sailed a bit in Sweden with it coming back. And then with the help of Rolf Eliasson, we made drawing and we saw the drawings and many people built the boats and two of my friends sailed across the Atlantic with this kind of configuration. And now like the mast is quite a bit forward of the boat but just behind the center ball. So this is what I'm going to do now too, because there's really no good calculations doing it. There's the rudder, and there's the center ball. And this is 3.31 square meter. And I got seven square meter sail area, and that means 4.7 percent. And that's sure ample. That's a lot. And in the back, the rudder area. Yes. 0.23 square meter and it's 3.3 percent it's a lot even two percent is a lot compared to seven, seven square meter and this shape is a kind of a bit irregular so to do that this piece of plywood i took a piece of the same plywood and did a triangle and it was 0 0.274 square meter. And the weight of it is this. And with the help of the weight, 0 0.2.74 divided by that. And then I wanted to find the, of the real rudder and it was 652 grams. So I got it to 0 0.23. And that divided by seven is 3.37. And that's the calculations of the area. And uh, now we just have to see if I forgot or did some error or something like this. So thank you for today.